oh, look at that color. Look at that color. Look. I just love it. Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I am so excited for this video because we're doing new makeup. We are doing another full face of new makeup and I'm so excited we got some good stuff today and I've gotten a couple of questions about a one specific product I'm using today. So I'm really excited to do the full try on. I've been trying and testing and I have some thoughts and I'm really excited to share them with you guys. So I kind of just want to jump into this video and get started. I don't want to yab on too much because my intros are always way too long. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below on, I know the holidays aren't over yet, but I would love to know down below, what are your plans for New Year's? And it's so far in advance, I know, but also I'm trying to plan what I wanna do. I have some options, but I'm trying to plan what I wanna do. And I feel like I need some inspiration because New Year's has never really been my favorite holiday. So I would love to know what your plans are so you can inspire me. And yeah, I just wanna jump in and get started. So let's jump into this full face of new makeup. Okay, I brought you in closer. Let's get into full face of new makeup, you guys. Brows are on, because we're not doing brows today, which is a godsend because my brows are in dire straits and I can't get my brows done. And by can't, I mean, I didn't make an appointment until, it's not until end of this week or end of next, but afterwards I'm gonna be singing because doing my brows lately has been a chore. Anyways, I digress. So the first product we're gonna be using is a skin tint. And I'm really excited because this is one that launched a little bit ago and I've been trying and testing it out and I've got a lot of questions from you guys and it is from the brand CL. So this is their skin tint, but it's an SPF skin tint, which I love. I think, I believe it's SPF 50. Yes, it's an SPF of 50. I got the shade Medium Honey 8. It took me forever to pick a shade, you guys. I agonized for way too long. I don't know what it is about picking shades, and I feel like I always say this. It, it's so challenging to pick a shade, and I don't know. I, I just felt as though the pictures and everything, I was really, really unsure about what I was gonna pick. But I picked the shade 8, and I was really intrigued when I got this bottle in because it has this cap. So I thought it was just gonna be a pump. It's not, it's a dropper. So you take the cap off and it's a dropper. Um, and this is a glass bottle. It feels nice. It feels very luxe. It feels very um, just nice. It doesn't feel like plastic. So then there's a dropper. And you know what about this dropper? I'm gonna say it's a good dropper. Sometimes you get products that have dropper and I don't know, I think it's, the mechanism and how mechanism <laughs> it's how the um how air gets caught in it sometimes it doesn't really drop out product this does a good job so again i got the shade eight and i'm gonna do just a couple of drops at first this is the shade eight i do feel like i could have probably picked a little bit of a better shade but that's okay can always make stuff work, but this is the shade and it has a little bit of run to it. And even though it has an SPF, what I will say is I've taken pictures and all that and it, I didn't feel like I was flashing back and looking crazy, which sometimes products with sunscreen in them can give you crazy flashback. This is not one of those products, at least for me, which I really appreciate. So um, I was really excited to get my hands on this and try this because you know how I feel about a skin tint, but I love a skin tint with SPF and 50 is definitely the highest I've seen in SPF skin tint at least that I've tried. So I got really excited. Now, what I like to do with this, you can use your fingers, you can use a sponge as well, or a brush. I have been on a brush kick lately, so I'm gonna use this brush from Hourglass, but I'm gonna use this side and really get the um, product in here. And I've just, my skin has been loving this and it may, it, whatever I apply this with looks very much more skin-like, even though this already is a very skin-like product. So we're just gonna apply we're just gonna apply this all over the face and blend it out. And we can always apply more. That was three dots. We can always apply more, but I like to apply a little bit at a time with this product and this one builds well. Two more drops I'm gonna just do on the back of my hand and then I'll do like a full swatch on the back of my hand for you so you can see, because I know a lot of people that watch me are my complexion shade. So you can kind of see if it, how it would work for you. So again, this is, I applied two more drops to the back of my hand and this is how I like to really get it into the brush 
And I don't find with this brush specifically, there are other brushes that soak up way too much product. I don't find this soaks up too much product. And again, we're gonna just blend. I mean, look at my complexion right now. Look at the way that blended out. I just really want you to be able to see how gorgeous it is. And it does have like such a healthy glow to the skin without it being too extreme in the sense of looking like it's almost wet or super oily. It looks healthy and it gives a slight glass skin effect, but not super glassy. It just looks really healthy, plumped up youthful looking skin, which I love. And when you get close to a mirror and I'm at a magnifying mirror in front of me right now, normally so humbling, but when I look at it, uh, it doesn't look like makeup. It really just looks like really healthy skin, which is incredible. Now what I wanna do is I wanna do a drop on the back of my hand for you guys. So I'm gonna do a drop on the back of this hand here, just one drop. And I really want you to be able to see how it kind of blends. So I'm gonna do just blend it out. Please excuse my nails. I'm redoing them today. I'm actually testing something new and I'm so excited to let you know what it is. And just look at what that does. It gives such a beautiful complexion and it blends beautifully. And look how healthy this hand looks compared to this one. It just, it, it's gorgeous. I actually love this product. And again, I just didn't think I was gonna like it because I feel like there's so many skin tints out there and a lot are amazing. But I feel like at this point, you really need to kind of step it up because of how many there are and how many good ones there are. And this one is a good one. Now I'm gonna put on a little bit of concealer, which is where I'm gonna do this concealer from um, Live Tinted. And I have the shade 16, 16 in this. And I always, I was nervous when I first got the shade 16. I already did a whole review on this, um, but I was nervous when I got the shade 16 because I was like, that's gonna be way too light, but I actually ended up being a really good shade match because I do like something a little bit more brightening. I'm gonna blend it out with a, a sponge. I've been loving blending my concealer with a sponge lately. It's just made my under eyes look so good and not over caked up because right now in winter it's dry out and I don't need my under eyes to look or feel dry with extra makeup. All right, that is concealer blended. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take a little bit of the CL um, skin tint and I'm gonna apply it right here where I have the most disrespectful acne mark and I'm gonna put it right on top and I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes. This is nice and liquidy and it's not gonna um, set up too quickly. I'm gonna do it that way, let it sit for a second. I mean, even the way I just applied it and you can see that it kind of just disappeared, which is pretty impressive. And by disappeared, I mean, not necessarily the acne mark, but the product kind of disappeared and just melted into the skin, even though I just kind of applied it. All right, I let that sit enough and then I'm going to just blend really quickly. I'm not, I'm, I'm not expecting like perfect coverage or anything. I just kind of want to tone it down a bit because it's a little bit red and angry at me. So then next, next before we move on to blush, because we have a new blush, I'm just gonna go on with a little bit of powder bronzer. I'm gonna go on with this one from Victoria Beckham Beauty. This is the shade 04. I love this. This is just, Victoria Beckham Beauty bronzer just melts away into the skin. If you want an alternative, um, you can use the um, House Labs one. That one is really creamy and seamless. If you want something that's a little less soft powder wise, the LYS Beauty one is gorgeous, love that. And then if you want just something you can grab at the drugstore, I will die on this hill. The um, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer is just one of the greatest bronzers out there. And I know it's not necessarily considered clean, but it is a very good bronzer. So if you want something from the drugstore that you can just grab, definitely grab that. So anyways, we're gonna go on with a little bit of powder. I'm using a broken <laughs> brush and we're just gonna lightly apply it. I don't wanna apply too, too much. I just wanna warm up my complexion a bit. Let's move on to blush. So the blush we're using today is also from the brand CL. It's also an SPF of 50, which this is the first product I got from CL. Cause the second I saw SPF of 50 on a blush, I was like, 
sign me up, Sally. Gotta test her. That sounds very unique and different. And I'm actually really glad I did because this formula is really nice. So this is their um, blush. It's a cream blush. And I got the shade Christy, which is this really pretty pink, um, light pink, but like beautiful flush shade. If you like the shade um, Magic Hour, I believe it is from Tower 28, this is a very similar shade to that. Or if you like the shade rosy from say beauty their cream blush this is kind of in that similar vein of types of blush colors so let's do a little swatchy put on the back of my hand so you have a application wand i don't like to apply directly to my face i mean you can and i've done that i just prefer to put blush on the back of my hand but we're going to do a swatch first before i apply it look how pretty that is it's just such a pretty pink shade but they have, the shade options are really pretty. So I'm gonna do a good amount in the back of my hand. And I'm gonna apply with a brush because that is my preference when it comes to cream blush products. And I'm gonna use this brush, which has been, I love the Sephora 93 blush brush, but this has been so good for my face when I apply blush because it just doesn't over apply. Sometimes I feel like because my face is so small, it can over apply product and go the 93 brush and go a little bit too far down if I'm not paying attention. This one is a product or product, a brush that is dummy proof. So I'm gonna dip in, get it all over the brush, not and lightly apply. If you feel like you over apply, sometimes holding your brush towards the back helps um, avoid too much application at first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply, kind of apply in a circle and kind of then pull back. Applying kind of in a circle like this makes it so it doesn't look too stark and you don't have to then blend the edges as much when you wanna kind of make sure it doesn't look too intense um, and too stark of a line of a difference uh, where the blush is. Okay, love that. Then I'm gonna just take this brush, which is what I applied the foundation with, the skin tint, and I'm just gonna go around the edge of the blush just so that it isn't, again, a stark line. But it's so pretty. What do you guys think of this blush shade? Do you think it's pretty? I love this. It's just so pretty. It just blends like a dream. And I do like the way that this wears throughout the day. I don't feel like it fades patchy or anything like that. Now, this is not necessarily the longest lasting in the sense where um, the, I would say the Tower 28 blushes are a little bit longer lasting, but this is still long, it like still wears throughout the day really nicely. It doesn't disappear. So by the time I get home, there's still, by the time I get home, by the time I get home at the end of the day, or I'm, you know, taking my makeup off at the end of the day, I don't feel like this is faded weirdly, one. It hasn't um, faded completely. There's still blush on my face. I actually really like the way this wears. It, ha it just lasts a little bit longer in my opinion than the Tower 28, but the Tower 28 blushes last super long. This is really, really nice. I like this. And this is definitely one that I have been grabbing nonstop. And every time I wear it, I love the way my makeup looks. And when I get close to a mirror, I'm really, really happy with the makeup and the way that it just kind of sits and blends. I don't know, it's amazing. All right, we're moving on to the next product. Now I do have a powder blush I wanna apply on top of this, but I'm gonna let this sit for a second, marinate and then apply powder on top. That is kind of my favorite order of operations is to let cream sit before you let hit it them with a powder. I just feel like that ends up making makeup look better. So we're gonna move on to eyes next. And the eye product we're gonna to use today is from Amicole. And this is their new liquid eyeshadow that they came out with not that long ago. And I got the shade Harlem. They have a lot of pretty shades, but this is a, can it focus on the product? Here we go. I'm trying to, okay, here we go. That's a lot better. So this is the product here and it is so pretty color wise. So again, I got the shade Harlem and I'm gonna open it up for you and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna apply with my finger. So I'm gonna apply it to the back of my hand first, let you just see the shade. It's a really pretty warm brown. And again, this is the shade Harlem. And you can apply it directly to your lid. Since I applied it to the back of my hand, I'm gonna just take a little bit and apply it to my lid and blend. Now this dries down and like truly dries down matte um, and really doesn't budge once it's 
kind of dry down. So that is something to remember. And you can build it up. However, I have found that the best way to apply this is to kind of work relatively quickly. Um, not, I mean, you're not gonna be stuck if you don't work really quickly, but I find that it just blends nicer if you work up quickly with this product because of the way it dries down. But it doesn't have to be too intense in terms of how you apply it. And again, I'm just still taking on the back of my hand. This is a very, very thin product in a very good way where I just feel like, sorry, I'm making sure the edges are blended. Um, it is a very, very thin product. So overall, it doesn't look heavy like makeup which I really, really enjoy. Now I'm gonna take a just brush, it doesn't have anything on it, and just go over the edge a little bit. I like to blend the edges with my finger, but sometimes using a brush with um, a more matte, really long lasting um, eyeshadow, I find is best. I'm gonna take just a small brush, and just go on to the wand here, take a little bit of the eyeshadow, and just pull it down on my lower lid. Love that, so pretty. Next, I'm gonna go on with this eyeliner from, or really it's a lip liner, it's a multi-liner from Tower 28. I'm gonna sharpen her because she's dull. She is dull, and I'm gonna just do a small line. All right, we did a little wing, I love it. Next, we're gonna move on to mascara, and I'm really excited about this mascara. We're talking about the new Victoria Beckham Beauty Mascara. I was so excited when this launched because I love the formula of the original Victoria Beckham Beauty Mascara, which I have here, because it's a really easy to remove formula. Now, this is a very subtle mascara. I would say if you're a fan of Glossier Lash Slick or something like that, you would probably really enjoy this mascara. However, I like a little bit more Va Va Voom. I do like this mascara. I like the way it wears. This is a great one for the beach or for me, days where I really want a very minimal look. The original Victoria Beckham Beauty um, mascara is great. However, this one I was very excited about because A, the wand is very different. It has kind of a swoop, which is what I really love mascara wand wise. And it is meant to be more volumizing. Whereas the original has a very little swoop and is very, very thin wand wise, which I do love because that's great for the bottom lashes. And since the this is more of like tubing mascara-ish style, it does, the way it wears, I don't really have any significant running underneath my lashes, which I love. So I was very excited for this. Now I'm not gonna curl my lashes just so you can see what it looks like without curled lashes. Um, I do like to clean the wand off for this. Now this is meant to be a smudge proof, volumizing mascara. So I actually really like this mascara. Um, it really gives nice volume, but it's a very, nice unclumpy volume um and it really it is beautiful to build up i like how easy this also is to remove like the original mascara now i cleaned off this wand because that just is how my lashes tend to kind of work with um mascara i want you to see what one coat looks like before i go with the second coat now you can go directly on without cleaning off the wand and it's still fine. However, I like to clean off the wand so I avoid clumpiness because I do feel like when you don't clean off this wand, there can be some clumpiness. It doesn't have to be a bad thing because some people love a clumpy mascara, but for me, I just like something a little bit more clean looking. So I like to clean off the wand. And by clean off the wand, I mean just remove the excess product on the wand and then do a second coat. Now this does layer beautifully. I'm gonna let you see the difference between one coat and two before I finish the second eye. Okay, so we have one coat, two coats. This, we have a gap in my lashes because this ripped out some lashes, but there you go. The difference, when I look, you can definitely see a difference in volume, in my opinion. So I'm gonna apply it to the second side now you can do in my opinion with this one or at least 
I've been able to do. Three coats of mascara, no problem with this specific mascara. However, work quicker than how I am today with this mascara if you wanna apply three coats. I'm gonna do three light coats. I'm not gonna re-dip for the last one. Now, what I will say is I don't find it to be super separating once you get past two coats. Um, you, I mean, if you're working really, really quickly, it, it can be separating, but I do find that it's not necessarily the most separating, but I love the way my lashes look. And in person, it's not looking clumpy. It's not giving stuck together. You know those lashes that used to be cool that they used to do on the runway where they would clump everything together? It's not giving that. It has such a beautiful wear. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit on the bottom lashes. With this mascara for the bottom lashes, I will say I don't necessarily feel like it runs or smudges or anything, but I do prefer setting my bottom concealer, my bottom concealer, my concealer with a little bit of powder. If I do wear like a full aggressive bottom lash. If I'm just doing a light one, I don't feel like I need it. But I do feel like if you don't set it, your your um, concealer, you will have a very small amount, but you do get a touch of running. And by you, I mean me. But to be fair to the mascara, I normally, unless it's Jones Road Beauty Mascara, that is the only mascara I've really ever come across where I haven't had to worry about setting my bottom concealer, my bottom concealer. I don't know why I'm having the weirdest sentences today. My concealer, because I do find that in general, for whatever reason, my weepy eyes do, it is fine with that mascara. Anyways, this is the mascara and it's so pretty. I love the um, Amicole eyeshadow. It is beautiful and it wears so long throughout the day. So this like really truly does set up, which I love. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the rest of blush before we go on to lips, which I'm really excited about. I have a blush palette today and it is from the brand Fawn Beauty, which you know I love. I love her lip oils. They are just great. This is the most gorgeous pink blush palette. Um, I'm gonna go on with this shade here, which is beautiful, stunning. They have a nice powderiness to them, but not in a bad way, in a way where you really, really get pigmentation. So just, be careful, you don't wanna over apply, you can always add more, but it's tough to take away. It is, I've made this mistake. So I'm, I'm gonna go on with this hourglass brush and I'm just gonna dip in to the shade. Again, it's this one here. And I'm going to take some off on the back of my hand because this is scary when you over apply it because they these are very pigmented, but, but they melt into the skin. I actually am really impressed with this palette. Um, a little bit more back of my hand take some off and then apply i'm actually really impressed with this palette and the way that these kind of just melt into the skin but they don't look heavy sometimes powders can look heavy um and it's this is just gorgeous i mean look at that blush look at that oh my god look at that combo it's just so good then i'm going to take the back of this brush again the back of this brush the side that I applied the skin tint with. And I'm gonna just blend the edges out with this just so that we don't have any stark lines. How beautiful the blush is. It's just so beautiful when you get close to a mirror. I have a magnifying mirror in front of me here. When I get close to a mirror, it's not looking like I have powder on top of a cream. It really just melts away, which is really nice. I actually really like this palette and this is gonna be a go-to specifically in spring, but when I want that really bitten cheek look and by bitten cheek which is just a weird sentence in and of itself i want that really like frosty cheek look but i want it to be bright this is going to be my go-to palette i really really like this the powders are great they again have a little bit of powderiness to them but not in a bad way in a way where you really get pigmentation so just be careful light hand light hand and i like to take off excess powder on the back of my hand and then apply to my cheeks because again i can always apply more but sometimes when you apply blush, sometimes you're stuck with how bright it is. Um, but I really like this palette and it is definitely worth checking out. And it is not, this is, I believe, $40-ish, which definitely feels expensive. But for four blushes, I don't think it, that is very expensive. And I definitely feel like the quality is there. So definitely check it out. And um, I love Katie Fawn. She's great. And she seems like a really nice person. So 
definitely go check it out. All right, time to move on to lips, you guys. I am excited. So I actually have two lip products from the same brand. This is the brand um, Flight.70. I had never heard of this brand. They actually sent me these products and I was unsure at first just because I really had never heard of them before. However, I was pleasantly surprised. So this is their lip liner and um, this shade is the shade I was about to say flame and it's fame, girl, if I don't get it together. And look how pretty that shade is. Does that not look like shade wise me? Okay, if I point to the right thing, me in a lip liner in terms of the neutralness. So I was shocked when I pulled it out because it's very rare that lip liner shades specifically really make me take a step back and go, oh my goodness. Cause sometimes they're too pink and I don't like stop being so pink. This is not, I mean, just look how beautiful that is. I love, I love this shade. So we're gonna do a little lip liner. It really is. I mean, I, you can see truly the definition of your lips, but better for me. And I really like this component. It's a twist up, but the mechanism works really well. Sometimes when you have a twist up products, when you twist up, you gotta like shove the, the remainder of the product back down when you want it to go down. This one, it works. So you go, huh? and then down. You see that? That is rare for any like, like twist up product in my opinion. So I'm just gonna keep applying a little bit more. I just, oh, I love the shade, it's so good. Oh, it is so good, you guys. I love this lip liner and I am shocked because I have a lot of opinions about lip liners, but this is beautiful. It is super creamy, but it is long wearing. It has consistency wise similar, in my opinion, to the Jones Road Beauty lip liners. However, a little bit thinner, the formula. Um, and it's still hydrating, but it, it lasts long um, and it has more of a matte finish, but it isn't too matte. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like it's a very natural finish, which feels weird to say for a lip liner, but it feels very natural. I mean, look at that shade. What do you think? I didn't put it all over my lips, but now I will <laughs> just cause why not? What I love about this formula is it doesn't cling to dry patches, which I have a thousand of today because it is so dry outside today that my my lips are peeling off. This isn't clinging to them. So the next we have a tinted lip balm and it's from the same brand, Flight 70. And this is the shade Rome. And I have been having this in my bag nonstop because I love this shade specifically. I'm gonna do a little bit. Oh, let me do a swatch on the back of my hand so you can see. So these are really nice because they have a they're not too pigmented. So if you want a very much a no makeup makeup look, or you just want a little bit of color on your lips, this truly is that. Sometimes I feel like tinted lip balms can be too pigmented for a truly, truly more natural look. This is beautiful. And you know what? I'm actually gonna take the lip liner off so you can see it in all its glory. Hold. Okay, lip liner has been removed. Let's go on with the shade Rome. And I really like the shade, it's so good. Oh, I love this lip color, you guys. It's just so good. I love these, they're so good. And the lip liner, I don't know if I said it, so I'm gonna say it now. The lip liner, you can refill, so good. I am shocked and I'm definitely gonna check out more Flight 70 products because where have they been all my life? I am super impressed. And if you've tried this brand, let me know down below because I would love to know if you have what else you love from them because I need to go on a hunt because these are great. And yeah, that's it for this video. That's it for my new makeup video. I would love to know down below, are there products that you also want me to try and do reviews on? Leave them down below because I am always on the hunt for products and I love to know what you guys want to see. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.